Hi, it's Jess. Um, so I have decided to do my Love With Food unboxing today just because it's going fast. So uh, my son is here. He has agreed to be quiet, you know, whatever that means to a three-year-old. So he he's smashing some pirate ships together in there and uh, we'll probably run in to get a cookie he knows is in here. So uh, I mostly wanted to do this because I really wanted to try one of the items in here. Um, and I thought I could try it and tell you about it or it would be fun to actually drink it with you guys. So I was going to make it anyway and thought I would drink it with you guys. So this is Here's the box, as always. I have taken the plastic off. We have eaten a few things, really not much. Um, but uh, I want to make sure that I get to show you guys everything. So this is their new-ish marketing material. I think this is the second month I've seen it look like this. And um, I like it. I liked the other one, too, the little postcards. Um, and this one is Spice Up Your Life. Shake it to the left, move it to the right. These snacks in this month's box are about kicking up a notch, trying new things, and adding a little bit of spice to your life. As we celebrate life, we also applaud you for helping Love With Food feed over 321,000 hungry children in the U.S. Cheers. So this, these boxes are $10 in the U.S., and uh, I think they give a dollar from every box. Um, to feed someone, so it's it's really nice. Uh, it's it's also just a great box. It's probably the box I will give up last if I give up boxes. And the item in here that I wanted to try uh, that was interesting is let's see where is it? <laughs> the green superfood by Amazing Grass. So here it is. Um, add some pep to your step with this nutrient-dense Amazing Grass Superfood Packet. We like to add fresh fruit and almond milk for a delectable breakfast smoothie. Actually, that sounds really good. Uh, I do drink a bit of almond milk, and this might be good with the almond milk. Gluten-free, organic, vegan, non-GMO. Uh, I don't usually drink my calories, so I usually drink tea and water only. But lately, I've been trying to kind of change things up a little bit. Uh, I've been drinking some stuff that's supposed to aid with digestion and detoxing. So I've been drinking lemon juice, a little bit of agave, and some chili powder, or some uh, cayenne pepper. So I might actually, if, if I like these, I might try it. I might get a packet of it. And I did try one sip before I started this. And um, it does have that like powdered spinach kind of aftertaste. If you've ever had like a green drink that's made with powder that's um, made from all kinds of different grasses and things. This is the packet it came in. It's 30 calories. This is the berry flavor, a kai and goji berry. It, it does have. It does start off with a little berry flavor. I also put a lot of water in it. You're uh, supposed to put at least eight ounces. This is a lot more than eight ounces. So it's not very strong tasting. It starts off with that berry flavor, but then you get the green, um, the green drink kind of spirulina. Um, I just want to kind of read what's in here because it's, it's interesting. So this is the amazing green grass green food blend. So it's wheat grass, barley grass, alfalfa, spirulina, spinach, these are all organic, chiro, chiorella, which I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's cracked something. Uh, I can't, I ripped it so I can't tell, cracked something. Broccoli. Uh, amazing Grass Antioxidant Blend, which is the acai berries, the matcha, um, 
I'd say carrot is what's under this little yeah, carrot, beet, raspberry, rose hips, pineapple, goji, goji berries, green tea, cherry. And it's also got flaxseed powder, apple pectin, fiber. And then it's got a probiotic blend too. The probiotics is the part that interests me the most. I've started taking probiotics. Um, for a while I made my own um, sauerkraut to get the beneficial gut bacteria. They've been doing a lot of studies with anxiety and probiotics. And for someone who's always felt her fear, anxiety, stress in her stomach, um, it does not surprise me in the least that there's a connection. So I've started taking probiotics and I really notice a difference when I skip a day. I have a lot more anxiety. So it works pretty fast for me. Um, I've also gotten my mom on probiotic pills. I've now switched to pills just because in the summer making your own sauerkraut um, can be kind of gross because sauerkraut does often get like a little bit of mold on it that you scoop off and throw out. In the summer it gets more and it's kind of yucky. Um, I think there are ways to make it in the fridge where it doesn't get as much. So I was, I'm was i always interested in finding things that have probiotics in them. This also has uh, acidophilus in it, which is another probiotic. Um, and protease, amylase, oh these are all part of the a probiotic blend. So I don't know that it has that much. I take one with like 50 billion live cultures. Uh, so it's a lot. I used to take just an acidophilus chewable pill and I didn't notice a huge difference, a little bit, not much. I could drink this. I would feel good about drinking it. Uh, we'll see if I feel better at the end of the day. They have a lot of other products that they make too. Raw Reserve, I don't really know what that is. Protein packed formulas of chocolate and vanilla spice. Uh, it's good I heard him cough because he was being so quiet in the other room. I'm kind of getting worried. <laughs> um, and then they have like meals, so I guess they must have more protein in them. And um, those, are, those are tempting, like the chocolate and vanilla chai. So I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to try this. They've got ones for kids too. So that was one thing I wanted to try. Would you like a cookie, little sir? Yeah. So here I'll, I'll give him a cookie because he's being so good. And these are rich chocolate cookie thins. He already had one, but I thought there were, there's, it's a really small package, so I thought there was only one in here. There's actually three. So he will get two because these are, like, this is the spicy box. So there haven't been a lot of things that he could eat. Okay, go back and play. Good boy. Um, crisp cookie thins with a sprinkle of sugar. Intense, rich cocoa is perfectly blended with this caramelized sugar dusting atop our delightfully thin cookies. Light and crisp, each all-natural cookie encompasses the right balance of chocolatey crunch, creating a decadent, delicious experience for all chocolate lovers. So just shows how much I love you guys that I have not eaten these cookies yet because I am a cookie fiend. Um, sugar and spice and everything nice is packaged in these addictive chocolate cookies. So these are all, you know, pretty good unbleached wheat flour instead of white flour, cane sugar, palm oil, cocoa powder. They're cookies, but, you know, as healthy as you can make cookies. Like, I, I bake a lot. I love to bake. Um... I try to make things healthier. I try and cook with agave instead of, you know, white processed sugar or whatever, but it's still a cookie. Mm. This is kind of barely a cookie. <laughs> it's okay. It's actually really chocolatey, and the little sugar on top gives it a nice little sweetness. But it's like the consistency of a cracker. Um, uh, you know, I could see where they could be addictive, though. That's the one problem with making, like, healthier versions of 
sweets is you feel kind of good that you're eating um, healthy, so you sometimes eat more of it. And they're not as sweet. Mm. So, so you don't get, I don't know, when I have something really, really sweet, I'm like, oh, that's plenty. I don't need any more. Like if it's a big, rich brownie. Not much, though, because I love sugar. But sometimes I can at least tell, like you can tell by mouthfeel how many calories you're getting, and so you stop yourself. Sometimes with the healthier versions, I have to be really careful not to eat the whole thing. So one of the reasons that we haven't eaten a lot of this is it is spicy. Um, and so usually I give a lot of these snacks to my son because we don't have a lot of snacks in the house, and he knows when a box comes, he gets gets snacks, and he's really excited about it. Um, but these are spicy, so he's not going to like most of the things in here. Um, the next thing in here is a spicy, thick, black bean soy sauce. I'm really interested in trying this. What is it? Kick your next marinade or fried rice recipe up a notch with this ghost pepper soy sauce. Oh, it's going to be hot. It's ghost peppers. Um, family owned and operated for over a Century, our exclusive micro-brewing process has enabled us to produce Asia's finest gourmet soy sauce. Maruso Ghost Soy is our delicious gourmet soy sauce with a kick of ghost pepper sauce. Um, it's, I will be interested to taste this because soy sauce is usually so liquidy. This actually had, like you can just tell from kind of feeling it that it's kind of thicker because it, I guess it's a black bean somehow. Fine black bean soy. I don't know. I'll be interested to try it. I like soy sauce. I'm actually going to make a stir fry probably tomorrow night. So maybe we'll try that. One thing I have eaten, I actually ate it right before doing this because I didn't know I was going to do this, was um, live your life with a little spice. Love with food. Oh, is this made by love with food? This is pop. This was popcorn. Oh, churro kettle corn by love with food. Oh, there's there's starting to make their own stuff. That's actually cool. The warmth of cinnamon with a hint of sugar in this popcorn will help you live your life with a little spice. So these were really good. It, it only has a little bit of sugar. So it's, I don't know, I, I think it's kind of cheap calling it a kettle corn when it's really not. It doesn't taste like kettle corn. You get some nice sweet little bites. But it's really cinnamony. It's the I love it because um, I don't want it to taste too much like candy. I like popcorn. It's 140 calories for this whole thing. Oh, I didn't get calorie count on these, so this is three calories for that. This all four of these cookies. What's the calorie count on four cookies? Oh, it claims there's five cookies. Oh yeah, I guess there are. Um, 90 calories for five of these. That's not bad. Like if you want quantity, if you really think you're going to eat a bunch of them, it's not bad. Um, so good calorie count on these. So this is the thing that I was going to give to my son and then I realized it was chili and he just won't eat it. He will say that is too hot. So this is way better snacks. Simply so sweet chili corn tortilla chips. I will probably eat one of these and then my husband will devour them. He loves like red hot and blue, red hot blues. He likes spicy tortilla chips a lot. I like them too, but um, I'm not a big chip eater. So the grains and seeds in these spicy delicious chips are sprouted, which allows your body to better absorb your nutrients. This is 170 calories for this whole thing. Ooh, these look good. The chips are really good. They're really hot. Whoa, they are hotter than Red Hot Blues. And I like hot. <coughs> That's hot. My son could not have 
a bite would have freaked him out. Mm. The chip itself is really good. I wonder what other kinds of uh, what other kinds they have. Let's see. Does it say? <laughs> He's trying to be quiet. He he can't. He can't do it. He's got to sing Pirate King and run around the house. Um, no, I can't see what other kinds they might have, but they're good. Hey, buddy, come here for a minute. I'll bribe you with a cookie if you'll stop singing for a little bit. You like those? Good. Glad you like them, babe. All right. Another thing I haven't tried, I'll have to let you know about the soy and about, we get a lot of these spice packets. Um, so this is lemon rosemary. Lemon rosemary home fries. Oh, they have a recipe for lemon rosemary home fries in the back. Honestly, what I tend to do with spice packets, I mean, this I might put on fish um, just because I like lemon. Um, I like lemon seasoning on fish when I bake it because I, I basically do a little bit of oil maybe a little bit of vinegar and some seasoning and bake my fish whenever I make it. Um, so I might do this and uh, or I tend to take these spice packets. I have a very generic bread recipe which is the best non-need bread recipe ever ever ever. The easiest version of it is um, if, if you do, I do a half batch a half batch is six cups of flour, three cups of water, a tablespoon and a half of yeast, and a tablespoon and a half of salt. If I'm using a spice packet with salt in it, I will use like half of that amount of salt. Um, and you just dump the yeast in your warm water, in like a cup of the warm water, add it to your flour and salt, and mix it and it makes two loaves and you can actually put the dough in the you have it rise twice you can actually put the dough after the first rise in the fridge and let it sit for up to two weeks so I tend to because it's such a basic recipe I tend to dump in a spice packet of some sort depending on what I want my bread to taste like plus I just don't use those spice packets a whole lot and for some reason I got a whole bunch of them from boxes and also from like my, my mom for some reason so it's a way to use them up so let's see what it says enhance the flavor of everyday meals like chicken or vegetables with this citrusy and earthy spice blend so I'll try it we'll see um, I've had these before. Roasted hemp seed, Caribbean crunch. I think I've even had this kind. I think they're really good. Um, these certified organic hemp seeds. No, am I going to be able to open this? Um, are an excellent source of protein and the nine essential amino acids. Open. Hey, stop jumping off of things. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's one more. I love you. You have so much chocolate cookie on your face. I can't get this open. I've had had these before. I know they're delicious. Do we have any scissors around here? You're not ever allowed to eat them. Ah, a pen will work in a pinch. Okay, so I'll try some of these for you guys. They're kind of awkward because they're little tiny. I'll show you one by itself. They're a little tiny. So they're a little awkward to eat. Um, but they're good. They really are. They got a lot of protein. Um, I don't know that I'm feeling the Caribbean spice a whole lot. 
This whole thing is about three tablespoons to 168 calories. That seems like a lot for this. But it's um, nine grams of protein. So you should feel pretty full after this. I don't know what I could add it to. I mean, it would be nice to add to like a granola or something. It also has omega essential fatty acids, which I really need to be getting more of those. Uh, what does it say about them? Let's see. These certified organic hemp seeds are an excellent source of protein and the nine essential amino acids. So yeah, I mean it's a it's a good it's a good filling snack, um, but I don't know that I would. I don't, I don't really know how to eat them. They're not easy to eat, I don't think. Um, and I'm sure Love With Food could tell wonderful ways to eat them. Um, so the one last thing in here, my husband had one. There were two in here. Five Spice Caramels by Shotwell Candy. Mixed with pure chocolate and a hint of cinnamon, star anise, anise seed, ginger, and clove. These caramels will have you... Living La Vida Loca. I'm going to try this, especially because I heard my cell phone ring. So it's very possible that my house phone will ring in a second. Oh, here we go. Mmm. That is good. That is really good. Mm-hmm. Couple of coupons. Coupons on the cookies. Need more caramels. Mm. That was really good. I like anything with like sea salt in it. Mommy, I have a shell collection from the sea. Okay. Well, apparently I have to go see a shell collection from the sea and figure out who just called me. And it's a great box. If you're looking for a good box, it's a nice one to have. Relatively inexpensive and um, fun to open. So, all right, guys, uh, I'm trying to think of what new is going on. Um, happy Equinox tomorrow. And uh, I've got some new video coming out on Nutty McFreak um, in the next day or so. All right. Bye, guys.